comes to filling the water tanks in the van, to which this van has two of. Ideally, when we look at water tanks, we really should have a separate water filler for each and every water tank. Having one filler and two water tanks is an absolute no-no. We get an imbalance between the tanks and only one tank fills up, fills up fully. Here you can clearly see we have two water fillers, both with lockable caps. We unscrew the cap, put our hose in here, push it in about six inches. Uh -huh. Now at the top here you'll see there's a little tiny breather port. Can you see that little breather port up the top here where my finger is? That little breather port allows the air in the tank to dissipate. The air comes out of this hole. When the tank's full, water will come out of that hole, indicating the tank is at its full capacity. When this occurs, we simply take the hose out, put the cap in, lock the cap if we so desire, and that particular tank's full. Then we go to this one, same procedure. On the tanks themselves underneath the van, we have independent taps. Those taps can be, a, be fitted inside the van for easier access. Okay, so we can use one tank at a time. When we've emptied the first tank fully, we then can turn to the second tank and empty it fully. How high should the water be in each tank? Should both tanks be filled? Ideally, keep both tanks full when you're going into camping destinations. That's free camping destination, where you don't have any access to mains uh, water.